Okay, we're going to get ready for our capacity test. So the first thing I'm going to do is charge it up with a wall plug. This is a 10 amp, 29.2 volt wall plug. And uh, I have it plugged directly into my, uh, my battery charging connection. I'm just going to plug this into the wall. And the battery is on. And let's have a look here. Uh, we are charging at 347 watts, um, so that's great. Uh, and the voltage is at, this battery is almost full, so this should, fl you know, flow charge up in no time at all, probably not even five minutes, and it'll be fully charged. But we'll let it run, look, I mean, look at that voltage already climbing. Um, so within the next five minutes, this will probably be charged, and then we will uh, begin the test, and I'll reset the meter over here. Okay, we are all set up here. Um, I have an extension cord going outside to my my heat gun, and that's on the low setting at about 800 watts. So that's what I'm going to discharge at at 800 watts. Should take about three hours to discharge. Um, battery is full. It's uh, settled at 28.4 volts. Um, meter is on. I'm also going to run it through this kilowatt just to double check my readings. Um, let's turn on the inverter circuit okay the inverter circuit is on and the inverter is drawing six watts and let's plug in my heat gun there we go the heat gun is drawing 700 watts I did reset the the uh, watt meter here um, so that's running let's check the kilowatt uh, yes, that's running, but that's, we want uh, kilowatt hours. There we go. Okay, so that's running. We're hoping for around 2.6 kilowatt hours. So uh, let's see what happens. But this is running, should take about three hours. I have the, the GoPro running. So after an hour, um, about an hour and a half, I noticed that the pack was no longer discharging and I think I burnt out my heat gun. You can see I've now plugged it into the wall and uh, yeah, we got nothing happening on the heat gun. So um, I don't have any good way of discharging this pack anymore. We're at 1.1 kilowatts. Um, what I might just do is plug this into my other battery pack and just start recharging my other, um, uh, my main power wall. I might just like, physically plug in a wall plug into this and charge my main power wall um, because um, I don't have a good something that can draw 800 watts uh, you know so I think I might just uh, start charging my main power wall from this one okay this is the rig that I have come up with I've got my wall charger and I've hooked it through some crocodile clamps onto my main my main power wall and I'm just using this meter as a, just to check on things. And yeah, we're delivering, you know, 260 watts. So this is going to take a long time to, to discharge. And I am running the air conditioning so that it pulls down this main battery and then we can charge it up with, the, um, with this. And then you can see that runs across my garage to where I had my rig set up. Over here and we are pulling 328 watts and we've this says says we've pulled 1.16 kilowatts so far this says we've pulled 1.13 kilowatts so we are back to uh charging we're only pulling 300 watts now instead of um you know nearly 800 watts so this will take a lot longer but we are uh, we are back to uh, discharging, and so the test can continue. All right, so the test is over. I was not here when it ended, and both meters are off. Luckily, both meters should actually save um, their readings. So we will start to recharge this pack, and the, the meter should come on, and we can put some voltage into the into this power strip, and the kilowatt should come on. So let's uh, do that. Let's unplug this power strip from the battery. Plug it into an outlet over here. 
and let's see what the kilowatt meter says. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, the kilowatt meter did not save anything. So that sucks. But we do have the slow-mo, so we can check the slow-mo. Um, but let's plug the battery into charge and that this meter should come on. Um, so let's plug in, plug in my wall charger here. Uh, that says, and let me turn off this inverter here. That says uh, a little over two kilowatts. Now we should have hit 2.66 kilowatts if I remember the math correctly. So let's talk about the capacity. Um, these were advertised as 105 amp cells times 3.2 volts nominal times 8 in series we should have seen 2.6 kilowatts out of these these batteries we saw just under 2.1 kilowatts what does that mean well if we take 80 amps times 3.2 times 8 in series we get around what we saw on the meter we saw 2.2 05 I think we're almost exact so these batteries are around 80 amps maybe if I'm lucky 85 amps um, so they are off 20% in, in capacity which is unfortunate so just for fun I contacted Lita Carla on Aliexpress to tell him their battery tested at 82 amp hours not 105 amp hours and I got the standard corporate response that I need to do more testing and I need to average the tests and the batteries will get better with time and these are good batteries. So I did do some more testing. All right, so test number two, we are at 2.12 kilowatts. Um, I forgot to reset the amp hours, but it was at 189 amp hours when we started, which means we're at 82 amp hours right now. Um, the voltage is starting to sag quickly, so this won't last another five minutes. Um, cutoff's going to be at about uh, probably 22, maybe 21 volts. But lithium phosphate, once the voltage starts to sag like this, once it gets to the low end, it goes quick. Um, so this won't last five minutes. Um, so I think we're going to come out at probably like 2.15 kilowatts. Uh, on the second test, which is better than the first test, but um, still nowhere near the advertised capacity. We should hit about 2.6 kilowatts. Um, so, uh, yeah, so this will pretty much conclude this test. Um, I am going to measure what I put back into the battery just for fun. Um, yeah, you can see the voltage. You can see the voltage. Um, it's changed multiple times while I've been talking. I bet you will hit BMS cut uh, while I'm still talking here. Um, in fact, I'll just leave it running because I bet you we hit BMS cut. There it is. BMS cut. So uh, yeah, 2.15 uh, kilowatts on test number two. So I plugged it into my solar for recharging and we have uh, 500 watts coming uh, back into the battery through that uh, extension lead. You can see 500 watts and I reset the watt hours and the uh, amp hours so we can see what it takes back.